All right, we here with uh, the one and only, the man and myth, the legend from the 27 SEL, Big yes, Live, Pierre Live. Yes, sir. Tell them what's going on, what you just did, man. Uh, I just put out my uh, put out my album, If It Ain't Live, It Ain't Me. Uh, doing pretty good, feedback going good. I feel real good about it. I uh, put a lot of time and effort uh, into it. And uh, I'm just I'm just blessed, man. I'm, I'm just thankful uh, for the people that tuned in with me, man. I ain't gonna lie, you make me feel like I don't rap hard enough. <laughs> oh, nah, man. Nah, man. It should never feel like that, man. Uh, what, what go into like your thought process, your writing process when you're making your record? Um, before I make a record, um, I try to make sure that I uh, lock all the way in on a, uh, on a beat. I uh, have my producers uh, send me some beats and I go through it. And it just depends on uh, what beat, um, if it touched my spirit in a certain way. Um, I'll go ahead and instantly start uh, start cooking up in my mind. Or it's sometimes where you get those new fresh beats, like y'all might hear something on the spot uh, and do something on the spot. So I guess it just all depends on what inspired me. You know what I mean? I freestyle with it, I ride to the beat, maybe for a day or two. And uh, once I got a hook, man, it's pretty much, everything else pretty much easy from there, man, so. Any of them records like stand out to you or that people been reaching out saying like that's that's the one? Uh, it, it's been a few on, um, man. The crazy thing about it, the um, it seemed like a lot of people, uh, everybody hit me up uh, throughout the week with a different favorite song. And like I said, that's kind of like the, uh, the aim I was going for. Uh, but a lot of people hit me up. They like uh, Up With It, mm, oh, of course, uh, Calculated Steps. Uh, a lot oh, of people cool. like uh, Big Homie. Uh, I ain't been the same since the song uh, dedicated to my late grandmother. So man, it's like people been giving me feedback about different different songs on the album, and uh, that's exactly what I was trying to accomplish. So. Tell me about your name. Like I know you as Pierre. You know my right. cousin. Like right, right, right. Where Pierre come from? The live. Well, uh, a lot of people don't know uh, Pierre is actually uh, my middle name in uh, in my hometown. Selma, Alabama, that's what everybody know me as. I've always been called uh, by my middle name. Uh, pretty much for the majority of my life, man. And uh, I don't know, and I just kind of took a liking to the word live. You know what I mean? I guess if we started saying it when I was at uh, college at, uh, at ASU, at Bama State. And uh, that word just always uh, got different it got different meanings to me. So it's just like I just attached, attached the live to the PL, man. And, uh, it's only one PL live, so I kind of, you know, that's kind of that's my groove right there. So since you've been been PL live, like any moments that really stand out to you that make you want to like that, like had you like I should keep doing this, so I should. I'm going places. Oh, uh, like really, man? It's, it's it's a lot of different reasons I do it. A lot of different reasons I do it, man. But for the most part, um, the people who always uh, thought I had great talent. Uh, always inspired me to keep making music. I get a DM, a uh, random DM, say, man, I'm, I just was listening to this song that you did years ago today, man. When you dropping new music, when you dropping new music. So, and it's also something I wanted to prove to myself. Um, took some time off to focus on my professional career. And uh, I always just had a, a passion uh, for hip hop and for making music. So it's like it never went away. But I just felt like I needed to I needed this album was therapeutic for me and I needed to kind of uh, write down what my life was like since I made the move from Selma to Atlanta back in 2017. So like I'm in a good good space. Uh, I was in a good writing space and uh, uh, this, this, I had a lot to prove uh, to myself uh, for this project and for the people that always supported me. Tell me about like some of the challenges and obstacles you face like as an indie artist because you do it all on your own. Man, it's a lot of challenges. Uh, the main thing I can say is um, experience is the best teacher. Uh, a lot of times in this uh, in this music industry, a lot of things you don't learn until after the fact, and you have to just uh, you know keep me moving forward to correct those mistakes and. Uh, it's also just networking and getting around uh, like-minded people, um, people who believe in you or people who have uh, traveled down the road that you're trying to go. So it's also about just networking, uh, mentoring. Um, a lot of people uh, will try to get you out of your money. Uh, it's a lot of scamming going on. 
uh, in the music industry. So you just gotta know uh, what makes sense for you as an artist uh, and, and know exactly what you're trying to do. Uh, but for the most part, man, I'm just really, just really trying to do this uh, organically, man. You know, uh, I just feel like if uh, if more people uh, heard my music, uh, I just I'm just thinking about the possibilities. I think you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna keep pushing uh, to get heard by more people. So you an artist and you work a nine to five. You got a career, correct? Yeah, right, right. So what what do you do? Um. I'm a teacher, man. I've been uh, I've been in education uh, for about 13 years now. Um, I got multiple degrees. Uh, I got a degree in public relations uh, and in education. And uh, I'm still in school now, man. So it's like um, you know, this, this music, uh, pursuing music or any dream uh, could get expensive. And uh, I just always wanted to maintain like my professional life, and I just that passion for music just never went away. So I definitely uh, take pride uh, in my professional career. Um, I try to give it all I got. Uh, so the same grind or the same energy I put into being an artist, I put that into my professional career. Because at the end of the day, uh, everything that's attached uh, to my name or anybody's name uh, is your brand. And uh, is what it, it, it paints uh, the picture of your reputation. So, uh, yeah, man, I've always had, uh, always had the uh, the passion to continue educating myself, gaining wisdom, but never just neglecting my, you know, what I mean, my, my my first love, which is music. So, tell me about some of those investments you had to make, like that money you put in. Man, um, things, uh, times have changed. You know, what I mean, I've kind of. Uh, witness different eras of this and uh, it's been times where I have to sign up for a lot of open mics and uh, my thing was I needed to get I needed to make moves to get around people who were complete strangers to me who didn't know me and then I just had to get that uh, stage experience man so just going around uh, performing uh, investing in producers uh, to get you that, that record that you're looking for studio time um, you know what I mean, wardrobe, videos, I mean, everything that, that comes with it. And, um, but at the same time, I've always um, been proud of my independent journey. And uh, I think being independent for so long, it kind of just taught me uh, the business uh, of the industry. So I like to look at myself as a, a well-versed individual uh, when it comes down to the business itself. So, you know, I don't, I don't know if y'all know, this is my cousin right here. So yeah, really. That ain't been Blood the same. Line. It's, uh, it, it's going to touch whoever here, but it, it, it struck right. a deep chord with me. So, like, just just dive into, like, what family is, see what them Wessons is to you. Uh, family is everything. Uh, I grew up in a, in a, in a big family. Uh, family that's real close-knit. I mean, I'm talking about... Uh, Sunday dinners every Sunday. I mean, I'm talking about all of me and my bro uh, cousins being raised as brothers and sisters, man. But always having uh, just a lot of aunts, a lot of uncles, a lot of different people to give you that wisdom and uh, to to see about you, man. And uh, uh, I made, I haven't, I ain't been the same since. Uh, that was my way of describing, like, really in reality, my life has been different since the passing of my grandmother. Uh, Cause my grandmother uh, was a motherly figure to me, and, and uh, invested a lot of energy and her time into raising me uh, and all my other relatives uh, the correct way. And a lot of things that she instilled in me, um, I just take with me every day. So I just took, uh, just thought about uh, when I when we uh, when I lost her back in uh, March, uh, 2023 on Jubilee weekend, uh, which was kind of ironic. Since she did a lot for the civil rights movement, I just, I had to make, this album wouldn't be complete without making a song about uh, one of the women who, who poured uh, so so much into me. So I wanted everybody to know um, not only the legacy of both of my grandmothers, but also just wanted to give them their, their flowers of, of what they meant to me. So I just 
my pen just kept going, man. Once I heard the beat, I just thought about all, all the good times, man, and uh, all the memories. And um, it, it came on through, man. It was hard actually writing that, man. I was, I was shedding tears writing that. So rest in peace to uh, both of my grandmothers, man. Yeah, it was hard listening, man. My eyes was watering up listening to it. Yeah. I was in the shower on the train, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah, uh, let's talk about it, like your gym journey, because I remember out of nowhere, you was just in your stories every day in the gym. Oh, yeah. So uh, a couple of years ago, um, even though I've always uh, been athletic, um, I just never uh, was consistent, consistent in my physical fitness. And so what I did is I, I decided I wanted to be serious. So I hired uh, a trainer to show me how to properly live. And I hired a trainer to show me how to properly eat. And I just kind of put those together and I ended up gaining like 30 pounds of muscle. Um, it just started off as one month turned to two months, two turned to three. And next thing you know, I had been working out consistently uh, for like three years. And that in itself was a mental and physical transformation uh, for me. Uh, I think people who go to the gym and uh, and actually be consistent with it, it shows, it uh, that displays or uh, uh, captures uh, the work ethic and the drive that a, that a person has because you have to go through so much pain and adversity and at the same time while you're thinking about your end goal uh, with every workout. So I wanted to do, mainly I wanted to change my lifestyle permanently. I didn't want to do it for a vacation or for a certain look or to get like anything from me other than the fact that I wanted to be uh, a better me and inspire others to uh, go on a, feels, uh, a fitness journey as well. It's definitely inspiring. I ain't did no, no sit-ups or push-ups yet, but it, right. it was inspiring, man, for sure. I appreciate that, bro. So, uh, any 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 uh, game you want to give out to the, to the ones watching? Like big homie, you was talking about your big homies, but right. I was thinking about how you my big homie. Oh man, I appreciate that, man. Uh, I, I use big homie a lot. I look uh, because I just remember starting out in this game and just starting out in life and always being uh, the little homie. And I just always thought about, you know what I mean, how how people not much older than me or, or, or my OGs or whatever, how much they just looked out for me and always gave me game. And a lot of my OGs stayed on me because they knew how, how, how smart I were. And, uh, and they always knew that I had talent with music. So I just thank my OGs for always pushing me. But I always wanted to be the one to pay it forward, to be that uh, to a lot of uh, young brothers coming up behind me. And actually, my experience as being an educator, uh, it kind of, it all really just uh, gelled together as far as like uh, the way I'm able to impact uh, a lot of lives of a lot of uh, young men uh, at an early age. So um, the game I would give, man, be comfortable with being yourself. Um, I'll never let nobody put a, a age limit or any type of restrictions on your goals or your dreams. Um, and I always like take care, take care of your family, and uh, love your family, man, and, and and pour back into those people that uh that pour that, that unconditional love into you. So um, that's the best thing I can tell you, man, is to be yourself, uh, know where you're trying to go, but actually take the time to get the experience and to learn how to get there. Uh, we gotta take a second to talk about uh, you and your peoples, man, because like. Yeah. Like in the video, y'all sitting at the round table, the tracks y'all got together, I'm yeah. hearing them. I'm like, they need to go ahead, like drop a three-headed monster tape. Like. Oh, yeah. So, um, you referring to um, my, my boys, uh, Money All Day, Every Day. Um, I didn't even know what MADE was for. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what MADE stand for. MADE. Uh, J Perk, uh, MC, uh, Deshaun. Um, we always just always made music together. Uh, I'm most proud of our ability to always maintain personal and business relationships together. And so, man, the way, I mean, even though we've always made music together, it kind of like it goes in seasons. It might be a season where Jay Perk, he in his pocket, he making some music, and I might be tending to some other business, and then it come a season where MC doing it. Um, and then, you know what I mean? So this, the season where I was kind of doing it, but 
we always make sure um, that we collaborate a lot. Uh, we all can catch us all on each other's tracks. But we actually been talking about, um, you know, coming coming together and putting together a, a group compilation. Uh, that's definitely something that we uh, that we got in the works, man. So we just gonna ride ride the momentum and just listen to the people and um, see what it is that they want from us, so that we can make sure we uh, we deliver. Hey, as as your cousin, as a fan, as somebody y'all inspire, I'm be looking forward to that. Yeah, man. So, uh, any any names you want to drop? Any shots you want to give before we got it? Um, for sure, man. A shout out to my mom, there, sure. my whole sure. family. Um, I also I just want to shout out to the uh, yeah the whole the whole West family. Uh, MC J Perk, uh, Deshaun, uh, Demo. Um, the producers on the album, uh, which is uh, Michi. Um, I did some stuff with uh, Halftime Slim, uh, Blitz Beats, uh, Othello, um, and my boy KD, uh, KD 20 Mil, and uh, me and him, uh, we working on doing it, uh, a joint project together too, man. So I want to shout out my producers, uh, got to shout out uh, everybody who who uh, featured on the album, uh, MC J Perk, Jabo, uh, Shife. Uh, Philo, um, uh, hopefully I didn't leave anybody out, man. But shout out to everybody who who made the album possible, and uh, and Philo, man, because he, he he locked in with me. Um, you know, what I man, I tell this this story right here. Uh, Philo hit me up, man, like starting last year, and I was like, uh, I really had just been doing features over the last few years. But kind of Philo got me on some uh, songs on his uh, couple of his projects, and they had kind of got my momentum, uh, made me start getting that love back, man. So he was one of the ones that uh, that went ahead and inspired me to go ahead and uh, and make an album, man. And he he he, uh, he pushed me a lot, man. So I definitely appreciate my brother Philo uh, for what he did for me on this project, man. So. Uh, but shout out to everybody, man! All the independent artists that's uh, that's doing their thing, and uh, anybody who's trying to better themselves, and don't you know what I mean? Who's not letting any hater or any obstacle uh, stop them from at least trying? But yeah, for sure. For sure, cause I'm always giving your flowers, man. You always been real with me. Oh yeah, man, I, I appreciate, appreciate it, man. It, man. I'm proud of you too, man. You doing your thing. I wanted to shout you out too, man. Uh, shout out, watch this. Shout out to Watch This, man. Um, shout out to Lil Cubs, man, doing this thing uh, up there in the shop. Uh, I've been knowing this guy, man, since he was born, uh, basically. And just to see your, just to see your growth and your maturity, your drive, your passion, uh, the simple fact that you just stand all, all the way in Chicago, you just still stayed in tune uh, with Big Cubs, man, and always was. Humble and mature enough to receive that that wisdom, that criticism, but now I can see you just kind of growing your, uh, you just growing your brand, man. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just anxious to see, uh, you know, what's to become um, of the fruits of your hard labor too, man. So that boy Fizzy, uh, shout out to Fizzy, man. Uh, shout out to y'all boys, man. I'm watching everything y'all do, man. So just just keep it up and keep inspiring us. What's up, so man? That's a powerful words right there. And I just I, de I definitely want to make it known. Raising the shot, born in the cell, I'm going to always feel at home down there. Too so. You already know. All right, love, y'all. All right, man. Peace.